In this tutorial, I will explain how you can program a micro bit to use an ultrasonic sensor. An ultrasonic sensor emits sound waves. When an object is hit by a sound wave, the sound is reflected back to the sensor, telling the sensor the location of the object. You will need a micro bit and a Key Studio 37 in 1 starter kit for this project. A link to details about the kit can be found in the notes. The components you will need are the micro bit itself, a Key Studio micro bit sensor V2 shield, a USB cable, the Key Studio ultrasonic module, four DuPont jumper wires, these ones should be FF, and all of these components except the micro bit itself can be found in the kit. Details of all the components can be found in the notes. You may also need a USB-A to USB-C adapter if you have a more modern computer. This adapter will allow you to connect up the micro bit. You should connect the components exactly like in this diagram. A link to this diagram can be found in the notes. Don't be too concerned if the micro bit doesn't go into the sensor shield at first. You will need to put it in with a little bit of force to make sure it's correctly in place. You must pay very close attention to the name of each connection from the ultrasonic sensor to make sure it goes exactly into the right pin of the sensor shield. These ports can sometimes be in different orders depending on how old your kit and components are. So connect them according to the names on each port instead of just blindly following the diagram. You should carefully trace each cable when you are done to make sure they are plugged in exactly as required. So the VCC from the sensor should go to V1 number 3 on the shield. Trig from the sensor should go to S2 on your shield. Echo from your sensor should go to S1 on your shield. And grounding from the sensor should go to G0 on the shield. Now it is time to make the first program you'll need for this particular project. So we navigate to make code, we select new project, we give it a name, e.g. ultrasonic one. Um, then we go to LED and select more, and we select LED enable false. But we're going to change that false to true. Then we go to basic and we select another forever block, and we create a variable. We're going to call this distance. After that, we go down to pins and we select digital right pin and drop that within forever. We duplicate it two times. Then, after this, we need to select serial right value, which is underneath pins. And we'll go to pause and drop in pause milliseconds in between the right pin and the value. Select show number, drop that on top. Then we navigate to our variable distance and we'll drop that just next to show number. We'll change pause milliseconds to 50 and we will duplicate our distance variable and drop it at the end of serial write value. Now we're going to type in distance here and press enter. So it'll show on our LEDs. We'll change the second digital write pin P2 to 1 and we'll drop in a set distance from the variables. Now we'll go to maths and we'll select the division and we're going to change the last box here to 58. Then we will go underneath advanced where we have serial and we will select a block from the serial section and that block will be weight and we'll duplicate weight and make the first one 2 and the second one 10. Then we go back to pins and we'll go to more and we'll select pulse and drop it in here and change the pin to P1. Now we're ready to download and we'll drag the file directly onto our micro bit. Once it's correctly downloaded, the micro bit should automatically disconnect. So this project's a bit strange because actually you need to download two make code projects onto the one micro bit. So make a new project, call that ultrasonic 2, we'll go to LED, more, and we'll select LED enable false, change it to true. 
Then we will go to basic and select forever, drop that down here. We'll go to extensions and we're going to select the sonar extension so we can use the ultrasonic. Then we'll go to variables and make a variable, we'll call this item. Select set item to, drop it in the forever. We'll go to sonar and we'll select this block and drop it where the zero is. We'll change pin tree to two, echo pin to P1, and we'll change the units to centimeters. Then we go back to basic, we select show number. We'll drop it underneath this in the forever section. Take the item variable, drop it after show number. Then we'll go to basic and we'll select the pause and change it to 50. Then we go back to advanced, go down to the serial again, and we'll select serial right value. Drag this across and drop it. And rather than X here, we want to change this to distance and press enter. And put it in centimeters. Okay, then we'll go to variables and find our item again and just drop that in at the end. With our program complete, we can go to download. Once again, navigate on our desktop to where we have the micro bit. And from there, it's just a case of dragging and dropping it onto the micro bit, the program. Now remember, you're actually dragging two programs, one at a time onto the micro bit this time, which is a bit unusual. Remember also that the cable from the computer must be connected to the micro bit when you download. Once both programs are on the micro bit, the onboard LEDs should show a zero. Make sure you take the cable from the micro bit and plug it into the sensor shield now. This is very important for this particular project. Once you do this, your onboard LEDs should show the distance of an object from the sensor. This will be in centimeters and there will be a decimal point after which it will show millimeters. If your ultrasonic sensor does not function like this, there's a few things you can try. First, trace all four cables from the ultrasonic sensor to make sure they connect to the correct locations. Also double check the program to make sure you have chosen the correct blocks. You can find all details of this project at the link to the Key Studio wiki below. It is project 21, ultrasonic ranging.